Hey robot fans, welcome back to the build. Today we're going to spruce up L3's hardware and smooth out some of the mechanical issues from the first video. The most visually noticeable issue is that L3's head tilts a little to her left. This is because of all the weight of the components mounted along the inside of the head pulling down on that servo spline. I knew it was a gamble putting the entire head on a single spline, but it still works, it's just a little leany. To fix this, we're going to move all of the components to the center and have them mount to the neck so the full weight is supported by the base. I also think this beefy servo is a little overkill for this project. I'm downgrading it to an HS645MG servo which will also be attached to the neck instead of the outer wall. This servo has a metal spline, which is nice, but I'm also going to add in a servo block. Servo City sells entire machined aluminum servo blocks, but I managed to print most of it myself. The only part I needed to purchase was the aluminum servo horn. This will give a metal-on-metal -metal connection supported by a bearing, which will take most of the load off the spline. Okay, so here's the full hardware setup attached to the neck. Uh, you can see I have the printed servo block here and I have a new speaker mount here. I changed out the speaker for a readily available one. Last time I kind of just used one I had laying around and everyone was asking me what kind it was and I didn't have a very good answer for that. So this is one you can purchase right off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I also made that mount a little tilted to kind of direct the sound out in the, off to the side of the droid. So all this squeezes together against the neck and inside of all of these mounts, I've also incorporated mounts for the amplifier up front and for the Raspberry Pi in the back. So off to the other side here, we have the servo horn, the aluminum servo horn from Servo City. I have this attached to an Actobotix servo driver, so we can just watch that turn. So I think that this thing is gonna be a much smoother motion and it's gonna be much more solid. This is not wiggling at all. I think we can put all the weight of the head on here and it's not gonna sag or do anything it's not supposed to. Okay, for the inner ring structure, I've changed things up a bit. This is the old ring. Uh, as you can see, the big servo was here mounted to the side. What uh, the big main change here is I've added in a support bar going across. So this is going to be the main point where it mounts to the neck. So instead of having the having it here and then it being attached to the edge and having all this weight on one side, it's going to be more centralized, which should help balance the head a bit more. I've also beefed up these magnets, the magnets that hold on the lid. They were a little smaller last time. It never fell off, but I felt like it really wanted to fall off. So I just figured I would prevent that from ever happening. Other than that, it's mostly the same. There's no more mounting holes going around. It's just now holes to add in that convoluted tubing for decoration. If you look inside, you can see how this is going to attach to the servo horn. There's all these M3 holes going around the main axle there, and it's just gonna be a matter of dialing in the right angle when it's at rest so that when you trigger the wake word, it can just go up those 20 degrees and do its thing. Okay, with that installed, you can get an idea of what the final hardware is going to look like here. Uh, there is one piece here that I haven't talked about yet. This is the microphone. If we remember back to the last video, this was our previous microphone, this little dongle, which was right inside of the USB chamber here. And if you look at its position, it's basically right inside of the main echo chamber of L3's head. So uh, in addition to tilting the speaker a little bit to point the sound going out that way, I've put the new microphone pointing out through this side wall here. If you look through the grill on the side, you can see the Electret microphone ever so slightly hoping that this will fix an issue that I was having and a lot of people of having where L3 is getting stuck in a feedback loop where she starts answering one question and then triggers her own wake word and just says what halfway through her answer and so on and so on. A piece of hardware that you may notice is missing from this setup is the Arduino. I am hoping to completely eliminate the Arduino from this project. It is a little silly to have both an Arduino and a Raspberry Pi running. But uh, this is my first ever Raspberry Pi project. I'm not a big Raspberry Pi programmer and I couldn't figure out how to get the Servo and NeoPixels to run with the Alexa SDK also running. So that is something I'm working on for the next episode. Also, I have the amplifier installed here that we used last time, but I'm hoping to get rid of this as well because the people at Hi-Fi Berry were nice enough to send me their mini amp. This is a shield that plugs right into the GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi and does a digital to analog conversion for the sound. Right out of the box, it doesn't work with the Alexa SDK, but I'm sure with some workarounds, I can get this working as well, which will eliminate one more component and make this super simple as far as the electronics go. So that is something I'm going to work towards for the next episode as well. I have a few good leads on the software PWM for the servo and the NeoPixels, but if you are a Raspberry Pi programmer or developer and you want to pitch in a little bit with this project, I will certainly not turn down any Raspberry Pi programming help. 
that's going to do it for this video. I think we did some good work here. We got rid of a lot of components. We moved a lot of the weight towards the center of the head, which is making it run smoother. And we're eliminating components left and right. Next time we'll get all of this software stuff figured out and that'll be the end of the L337 Amazon controlled voice assistant project. You can find all the updated parts for this project on the GitHub. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.